Okay, hi out there, everybody in my speaklands. I'm Larry Fast from Synergy, and I've been using products for at least a decade or more. I would assume shortly after they came out. Now I'm trying to remember all the questions that I was asked. When did I? Why did I start using Peak? And I have to be completely honest. I was using the uh, editor that used to be bundled with Pro Tools until it was no longer made. It's Amazoner. And that was the uh, impetus to come over and start using uh, uh, Peak. And boy, I was surprised at how much better it was, how much more detail I would get, how many more uh, options for what I could be doing with my editing. Um, I used it primarily as a mastering tool, both on uh, remastering, I guess almost 15 years ago, uh, my albums, my Synergy albums, which go back to the 1970s, as they're being digitized and being reissued on CD, all of the, uh, the, the mastering, even fixing bad edits, things that didn't survive back from the LPs, were done in Peak. Um, it also is uh, a tool that I use in conjunction with multi-track work uh, on other platforms where I will bring out tracks, selected tracks, to work on them. Uh, in, in Peak as a master tool, giving me somewhat of a finer control over what I want to be doing with them, particularly in some of the editing functions, and, uh, and then re export them back to, uh, to the uh, multi track platform, leading up to the mix and the inevitable mastery. Uh, recently, I've also been using, uh, doing a lot of broadcast work going back the last 10 years, creating Sonic logos and sounders and sonic IDs for XM satellite radio, and more recently a whole series for tribute broadcasting television, including the flagship chip station WGN America. And uh, all of that is created and prepared as broadcast ready files in Peak, and shipped straight up to broadcast servers. Peak really has been a part of my workflow ever since I started using it. It's either the uh, finishing step just before something goes on for mastering or broadcast, uh, replication mastering. Uh, and it's uh, something that I really can't imagine if I didn't have it in my arsenal how I would get some of this work done. 